Hello everyone, I'm Reed Now Zero, and we're back again talking about more Ripper vs. Tractor, specifically Buster Baxter, aka Dick Masterson, because of course the man just doesn't know when to keep his mouth shut. He's gonna continue to troll and think he's correct and spin things to the way he sees fit. And of course he's starting to sound very closeted right about now with the way he's been talking recently about Air July and Air July's fans. It's quite in the closet, if you know what I mean. So, of course, we're going to start, as always, with the Ripperverse store. You can get your comics, Ripperverse comics hoodie. Short boxes, I'm pretty sure, are in short supply. You can some posters. You got your cover D shirts, hats, other posters, other shirts, etc. Moving on over to Blade Devil Book 2, Chains of Blood. Breaking 100k. Fantastic. Congrats to both Raging Golden Eagle and Toxic Man Baby as of this recording. Sitting at 101k. 602. With over a thousand backers and 30 days left to go. I'm hoping we'll see some more stretch goals with this. So now the stretch goal that has been locked at 100k is that you get foil covers for your comics. If you want to go ahead and back this. Interested in some anime bobs and booty. Dark fantasy. You are pretty much like this. I enjoyed the first book. Looking forward to the second book. I got all the covers so I can get all the cards. 69 pages of story. Two supplemental stories. One here and one here. Cover A, you get your Ashiara card. Cover B with Luna, you get your Luna card. Cover C, which is the not safe for work Luna cover. You get your Night Ashiara card. Of course, the limited summer wraparound cover is gone. Has been removed since fall. But you did get a barrel shoulder card. And you got a bonus rain card for signing up with a pre-launch and backing any physical copy. You also have things like mouse pads and your waifu covers for your pillows. Safe for work, not safe for work for rain. Safe for work, not safe for work for Luna. Safe for work, not safe for work for Ashiyara. You get this as a 75k stretch goal. And like I said, the 100k stretch goal has been met for the foil covers for the first edition printing. You can also get Blade Double One as an add-on, or you can go to this campaign, which both of these will be linked below in the description. You can get the your da damaged copy for 10 bucks if you want to get a copy of Blade Double One sooner. You have all the different covers to choose from, cover A, cover B, cover C. So now we're going to move over to, of course, Dick Masterson Buster Baxter himself, because he just can't help himself. He wants to continue to be a troll. He wants to continue to drama farm essentially and i'm going to continue to call the nonsense that he wants to spew because it's always garbage he gets no interaction on twitter or barely any interaction on twitter i should say barely 100 likes if that with as many followers that he has i mean really angry american says i had no opinion of eric july and knew almost nothing about the drama before he brute forced his way onto nick's show after hearing erica's own words explain it i'm pretty sure he committed fraud no Still never committed fraud. So tell us, for what it's worth, not much. I follow you both in the past. Unfollowed both when the drama started and refollow you at the last week's stream. Many such cases. Of course, saying a bunch of garbage that makes no sense. You have no proof. You essentially want Eric's business to go under. You've already admitted it on Twitter. So. Abiva says, I read Ison with an open mind and wanted to like it, but it's a piece of crap. Okay, that's fine. No one cares. It's an opinion. You're allowed to have it. Not everybody agrees with you. The whole thing. Then I found that he defrauded donors and cancer patients. It's intolerable. Definitely didn't happen. But that's okay. Sure. Even poop is more fun than Isom. Sure. Isom was dog crap. Again, your opinion that you wish was gospel into existence because that's the way you play the game. You always do this. It's obvious that you're doing this. You do this all the time where you gospel it in. And you want your opinion to be gospel. You want it, your opinion to be the only opinion out there on the internet. So, but no one really cares. You're welcome. So he says to J.D. Maltman, right? Dick, you're a legend. There's been there's been so many comic fans like me pissed off with these mouth-breathing tards celebrating this dog crap book while simultaneously trashing all the great books that are out that they don't read. Thanks so much for what you're doing. I guarantee you don't read any books either. Because literally you spend all your time on Twitter trashing Isom. So pretty sure you've never read the book. And if you did read the book, it was most likely you pirated it. So thank you for your service. 
people are clowns. New clip of Buster Baxter, Vito, and this clown chick reviewing the newly uncovered footage of Air July breaking it down. Oh my god. They went back and found old videos of, of Eric. You know, those videos that have nothing to do with anything. Literally, this is what clowns do. Clowns always try to go back, look for old content that you clearly have on the internet that's public. And they try to use it as some kind of weapon against you for some odd reason. Like you're supposed to respond in some negative way or defensive way and act like you don't have it there on the internet. This is what these clowns, the drunken fats, tried doing with me. And I just looked at them like they're retarded and said basically, okay, I have the content there. What's your point? Please tell me what your point is and where you think you're going to shame me in some way, shape, or form. Because I don't, I don't get shamed by, by unintelligent individuals on the internet. I'm sorry, I just don't. Yellow Flash guy is crying about Bambi being this today. What an effing loser. Who gives a crap about these stupid cartoons, pronouns? Again, all of these people that you claim are just culture war freaks are all more popular than you. Are, are all more successful than you because they do other things besides complaining about everything. They actually enjoy things. You don't enjoy anything. Not a single thing out there. You just enjoy being a troll. Which is not really enjoying anything at all. You just enjoy being essentially a loser. So. Because that's how you roll. Richard says, No one's harming his business more than him. Fairly to Google a name for trademark. Again, can't trademark a name. DMCA, small creator over a parody. Definitely didn't false DMCA. It wasn't a parody. He literally stole the man's logo and sold it on merch. But again, you're going to keep throwing out this lie and regurgitating the same garbage all the time. Because that's what that's what people like you do. Responding so sensitive to criticism from fans, he definitely doesn't respond sensitively or whatever or so sensitive to fans dick masterson's not a fan he's an actual asshole that had no real criticism all he had was a bunch of sh crappy notes where he asked questions that were answered in the book and his reading comprehension was that of a first grader because the dude can somehow write a successful book but he can't even read he can't read properly. And this is the problem I have with a lot of people who say the writing is terrible. Meanwhile, most of you people can't even read it properly. He's in his own way and blaming everyone else. Definitely not doing that. Now it's Arcata's fault. No accountability. Definitely not doing that. Eric's idiot fans thinking, think telling everyone not to buy his crappy comics is a crime. They must be the dumbest fan base I've ever pissed off. Sure. I'm pretty sure... Your fan base is the dumbest because you literally have someone going out harassing and, quote, pulling up on a private business that he's not invited to. And y'all are not telling him not to do that. You're encouraging him to do the nonsense that he's doing. And then when something terrible happens to him, then what? You have TGT cases. Dude, you said you want... Eric's business to fail. That's a problem. One that Nick tried to dissuade you from. One that, in my opinion, you can still work out privately. No. This man is still, his man's pussy is still hurt from three months ago when he didn't, when Eric didn't accept his apology. He's been crying since that flash cast where he was expecting some kind of, you know, a, apology accepted nonsense from Eric when this man literally tried to say that Eric was committing fraud, which he, he still hasn't committed fraud. You guys are dumb as crap. Your entire lives revolve around trying to destroy, quote, woke companies. No, they just revolve around calling out the trash content that is being putting out, put out there that's essentially grooming children. Of course I want Eric's company to fail. His comics suck, and he's an ist a-hole. Sure. Keep regurgitating the same nonsense over and over and see how far that gets you. Here's a parody cover I did a bit ago of Ice on one cover C for this unintelligent, un un irrelevant person. This was before his recent meltdown, so I didn't know at the time that he'd do this to my friends. It's a, I guess Eric is fat, which he's not, you weirdos. Again, same people who are actually fat like to tell everybody else that they're fat, which is very weird. 
You got, I guess, Riley with his Clipper. Still wearing Clipperverse. Still stealing logos. Still stealing logos. I guess this is supposed to be Dick Masterson, and that's supposed to be Vito, I guess. With a Tower of Bunnies, which is weird. I guarantee none of you will ever go up to Eric's face and say a damn thing. So... Of course, this is a gift for Frog Boy, who is talking about Eric's documentary that he did, which is again another one of those things that Frog Boy does, which is why he hangs around people like Buster Baxter, who do the exact same tactics. All these people have the same exact shame tactics of trying to go back and looking for old things to to try to shame people into these weird defensive positions. And this is what they do. These are the type of people that they are. And these are the type of people they were always remain to be. Uh, come again. What nation is this, Eric? Yo, here it is. This is the video that he's talking about in that video. Wow, Eric July has some serious explaining to do. Wonder why he doesn't talk about being part of this documentary. Again, it's it's all trying to put hashtags. It's, dude, you're not funny. You're a weirdo. No one cares what you do, and you have to do this. You literally have to do this to get any views. I can make other videos and get views. I get more views than you when I do other videos anyway. So. J.D. Kirby says, you don't know people too well, do you? It doesn't. If the, if Buster Baxter stops or not, it doesn't matter. Let's say it doesn't matter. That's off the table. The fans are going to continue this. this. They outnumber Dick by a huge margin. He effed up. He took a crap on the fan base, and he will reap the rewards of that. You did not outnumber the bunny as we multiply. It's kind of, it's kind of in the closet type of things. You know what I mean? And I can guarantee there are more fans of Eric July than there are fans of you. I can guarantee that. Like you're not holding your best friend accountable. You're a big hypocrite here, Nick. This is someone talking to Nick Rakeda. You've constantly been an a-hole to Eric July and sugarcoated Buster Baxter's malicious campaign to destroy Eric's business. You say you're not taking sides. That's a lie, and you know it. To which, of course, he responds, making two crappy comics isn't a business. Still your opinion. More people like it than don't like it. You could continue to have your opinion, but you're never going to speak it into gospel and no one's ever going to give a crap what you actually have to say. We're just going to sit here and laugh at you. You culture war freaks. Air July just won a marketing lottery and blew all his money on warehouses and employees and BS, pretending to have a business. He's not pretending. His business is registered. His business makes more money than yours. He's more successful than you. You can, you can continue to cry about it, which is what you're essentially doing. Because that's all you've been doing for three months. You've been crying about Eric July for about three months now. And where has it gotten you? It's only made you more and more looking like an a-hole. He played you, but he also played himself. These are the same people that say a year from now that... Ripperverse is going to go bankrupt. Meanwhile, he's hiring more talent all the time. But somehow he's going to go bankrupt. These are also the same people that think comics aren't being sold when the campaigns end. And there aren't more campaigns coming up. There's already four, I think, four campaigns in the works. Alpha Core 1's done. Yara 1's done. Yara 2's done. ISM 3's done. There's secret, another secret project that Chuck Dixon is working on. I'm pretty sure he's got an artist for that secret project that hasn't been put out there yet. So that's more people he's hiring. So clearly he has money to do this. Yet you want to sit up here and complain about spending $35 on a comic book when you want to talk about how people, he blew all his money. You've said this before too. Clearly he hasn't blew all his money on garbage. He clearly put all his money back into the business and reinvested it. This is Cam saying, you know this for a fact that neither Dick or Vito was involved with the contact or prompting it. Yeah, they contacted the charity. I think this is actually for the ministry. It doesn't matter. Eric July broke the law and violated an easy, easily searchable trademark. Yeah, because you're definitely a lawyer. You're definitely a lawyer, Dick Masterson. You live in California. You live in the worst state in the country. You have no room to talk. Then he spurred out on me and Vito instead of handling the negotiation privately. And the only reason it's an issue is because he stupidly overbought ISOM inventory that he can now cannot sell. 
he, he sells stuff every single day. People post about stuff that they receive pretty much every day. What are you talking about? Again, you don't actually care about telling people the truth. You care about telling people lies every single day. And you've been spurging out about it. You've been called out on it many times by many people. Bro, are you trying to cancel Disney's business? Yeah, he's trying to say he canceled Disney Plus. It was a hashtag, cancel Disney Plus after Gina Carano got fired. It's probably been there since then. <laughs> it's like, get a grip. Thor Odinson says, here's hoping that Mattel gets the Bud Light treatment that Gerrit Greta is promptly shit-canned for making any Chronicles of Narnia movies for Netflix. Barbie's a breakup movie and as woke as it gets. Sorry, what was that about not canceling creators? He's not canceling Greta Gerwig from working. He's boycotting. Bud Light got a boycott treatment, which just means people, by their own volition, stopped buying the products. He just doesn't want Greta Gerwig to work on projects for Mattel. Not that she, he doesn't want her to not work at all. This seems like several steps past just reviewing a criticism. We're in harassment territory or more. We're way past this. We're into straight up villainous railing up. Yeah. Yeah. So you're admitting that you're going to continue to do nonsense. Just, just put it out there. Y'all are the same stupid people that just put out every terrible thing you're going to do on the internet for everyone to see. Just give it time. Pretty soon they'll be calling what Dick is doing a microaggression. It's hilarious how they hate progressives who play the victim card for attention. And then when crap is turned around and then they act the same. Definitely not. They're already accusing me of doing this. Maliciously destroying a business. Which is not a thing. It's as real as hate speech or microaggressions. Sure. Cam says it's a very strange statement from Nick. Because he's describing Dick and Vito. That their quote brand is stupid and destructive. As is being demonstrated and joined by a collection of weirdos. From low cow farmers to anti-CG lunatics. This, I think, is, let me see, I think this is when he's saying that the Rip Reverse, uh, the Rip Reverse account is cancer. Yeah, that's, that's from that. To which he responds, lol, Dick and Vito not speaking on behalf of anyone, you, you person. I am saying that Eric July can't write. That's an opinion. Still an opinion. His comics are anti-woke. Wrong. Again, room temperature IQ. Reading comprehension of a first grader. Culture war trash sold the cocks and morons and st who think they're spending money is winning. People don't even read them. According to who? Because Nina Infinity didn't read it at the beginning and then she read it and then put out a review? There's hundreds of reviews on YouTube, you absolute idiot. But again, all you're going to do is spew nonsense like everybody else does about Air July and the Ripperverse and Comics Gate. Y'all just constantly spew nonsense until it's in the void and people start believing your garbage. So. Yeah, and calling Ripper Vackers Rippertards and calling them too stupid to tell that the book sucks and telling happy customers that they're liars and crap. I'm CG. The customer's supposed to come first. Thousands of paying customers being denigrated by someone selling a book. Selling a book themselves. I've seen all the same exact attacks on about every CG creator on every CG creator that has dared to succeed in some some of it word for word. It's just 2017 and 2020 all over again, just a new target. This is hundred percent correct. To which this dude responds, Ripetards are upset that spending thirty five dollars on a dog crap culture war comic isn't stopping me from making fun of them. Hashtag cooming. Yeah. I'm sorry, but you you're probably in the closet. You're saying some very, very Questionable things. You might want to figure that out. The last time I saw the debate, I don't remember Eric supporting the stuff you were saying, so I stand corrected. Rivers Gulf Coast can disappear tomorrow, and people like Dick would still cause division, but if Dick disappeared tomorrow, everything would be good. You were lost. Imagine a sequel to It's a Wonderful Life, where the angel convinces me to jump off the bridge to save the Riververse, but then I convince the angel that the Riververse is garbage. That's called a plot, Eric July. Because again, you're always tagging him like he's supposed to pay. He's saying, pay attention to me, senpai. Notice me, senpai. You've been doing this for months, too. You've been tagging Eric July in all these weird posts. 
and you think he should actually pay attention to you. Which is what they think that I'm doing. They think I make these videos to try to get some kind of attention from Eric July. When Eric, I've said it before and I'll say it again. Eric July doesn't owe me any kind of attention. I'm doing this to call out you weirdos for constantly trying to crap on someone who's just being a successful comic book company. Making a successful comic outside the mainstream. And y'all are so butthurt that he's more successful than you people are. And you think he doesn't deserve the success that he's gotten. If you don't know the important difference between a person reacting to the crazy drama of others like Ripper vs. Gopos and a person initiating the crazy drama like Dick and Vito, then I don't know what to tell you. Eric initiated all this by calling me the N-word on stream for no reason. Oh no, he had reasons to call you that. You were accusing him of charity fraud. You absolute moron. Stop lying to people that it was for no reason. You were accusing Eric of charity fraud. And he called you exactly what you act like. An ignorant piece of garbage. You act like an ignorant piece of garbage. Because that's what you'll always be. You'll always be an ignorant piece of garbage. So. At the end of the day. Back Isom. Back Blade Devil. Two fantastic books that I've read. This year. Back often. And back other comic skate or independent comic creators that you like. I know I will. I've already backed Isom 1 and 2. Read them both. They're both fantastic books. I backed Blade Devil 1. Great book. I backed Blade Devil 2. Got every single cover. Because I believe that these comics are great. I've got every cover for Isom 1 and 2. Because I believe in supporting the independent creator. And I like the creators that I'm supporting. And that's all I'm going to continue to do. I'm going to continue to support the creators that I enjoy. And everyone else should be doing the same. Well, thank you all for checking out this video. I really do appreciate all the new subscribers, returning subscribers, new viewers, returning viewers. If you do like this video, hit the like button. Comment below what you feel, comment below what you feel about all this. If you'd like to go the extra mile, you can become a member with by the join button underneath the video. For a dollar a month, you can always super thanks the video. You're never obligated to do so, but it really is greatly appreciated when you do. Subscribe for more content if you're new here. Hit the bell for notifications. Set the bell to all. That way you get notifications anytime I post a new video or live stream. And I'll see you all in the next one. Peace.